some jaw-dropping footage. A deadly lightning strike right outside the White House last night. Watch again as the massive bolt lights up a tree in Lafayette Park, a packed sightseeing destination within steps of the presidential mansion. Now we're learning the names of the two elderly tourists from Wisconsin who were sightseeing in the nation's capital when they were killed. They were identified as 76-year-old James Mueller and his wife Donna, 75. It's believed they were hiding from the storm under this tree when lightning struck. You can see the gash in the bark. The worst thing you can do in the middle of a thunderstorm if you're caught outside is to take cover around something that is thin and tall, you know, like, like, a, like a tower or a flagpole or a tree. Two other people were rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. CBS White House correspondent Nancy Cordes jumped in shock when the deadly bolt struck. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutations, as always, to the elect. Another episode going into news and prophecy, linking the things happening worldwide to the Holy Scriptures so that the elect, the remnant, all right, could fear the Lord and know and believe. All right, that the words of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai are faithful and true also, all right, to push condemnation, all right, to the beast system, all right, ruled by Esau, Edom, all right, condemnation uh, to the rest of the heathen and also two-thirds of our own people, all right, who were uh, created to be enemies of the gospel in this time, all right? And as you just saw, all right, the Heavenly Father is not mixing any words, it should be clear as day what time we're in. As you look around the planet Earth, all right, all you see is judgments, plagues, okay, and people being put in dire situations worldwide, uproars of the people. Okay, as you just saw here, all right, lightning, all right, struck near the White House, killing two people. And what what do you think Yahweh Bashim Yashai, all right, means by this? Okay, that's what you should be asking yourself. All right, you look all around the planet Earth, you see nothing but judgments. All right, as a matter of fact, let's get the book of Ecclesiastes 8 and 5. Okay, it says, Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing. Okay, in a wise man's mind or heart, the Hebrew word for heart is mind, discern it both time and judgment. All right, so we as the elect remnant, all right, one of the mindsets that we would be in, okay, is what? Discerning both time and judgment. As the scriptures say, all right, before judgment, examine thyself. Let's get that real quick, okay? Before judgment comes, we ought to examine ourselves, and we're in a time of mass judgments, all right? And you still have our people rioting in the daytime. This is the book of Sirach, the 18th chapter and the 20th verse, before judgment, examine thyself, and in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. And we're living in the days wherein the Most High has said he was going to visit the earth. And how is he visiting the earth? Through his only begotten son, through the angels, which what? Are responsible for plagues, are responsible for the uh, mindset the people are in on the earth, are responsible for uh, the powers that be. All right, getting in the spirit of war. Okay, everything that the scriptures spoke of, it's happening. Okay, so a wise man's mind, okay, who's in the spirit, all right, because as the scriptures say, when you walk in the spirit, you fulfill the law. Okay, so those who are in the spirit are discerning the times and acting accordingly. Okay. Those of us who are in a right spirit should should know and understand that these are not the times to be playing with Yahweh Bashim Shai. These are the times to take him serious. Okay, repent, pray, and ultimately uh, hope that we can be received and found justified when Yahweh Shai returns because he is coming. Okay, now as you um, let's see, if we can get some precepts on here. Let's see here. Ecclesiastes 2 and 14, 
the wise man's eyes are in his head, meaning he's circumspect, he's watching, okay, over his thoughts, over what he sees before him, okay, but the fool walketh in darkness, and I myself perceived also that one event happened to them all, <laughs> all right, and these are not the times that you want to be walking in darkness as what? The light is here, okay, the doctrine is being taught, all right, the new song is being sung, all right, so if you're still walking around in darkness, okay, uh, evidently the Lord ain't dealing with you. If you're not taking the Lord serious, if you're not taking his grace period serious, evidently the Lord ain't dealing with you. And you need to uh, repent, pray, and get in the right spirit. Ecclesiastes 10 and 2, a wise man's heart is at his right hand, which is on the right hand and represents righteousness, but a fool's heart is at his left, and your heart is your mind, and the left represents what? The flesh. Okay, the works of the flesh. And that's where a lot of people's minds are while all of these things are happening in the planet Earth. Let's see if we can find a few more. Proverbs 17 and 24. Wisdom is before him that hath understanding, but the eyes of the fool are in the ends of the earth, all over the place. Okay, they're not dealing with what's before us. They're, they're all over the place, all right, trying to ultimately uh, be too deep. All right, or, or or just all over the place in understanding, okay? We we, we want to what? Walk as those who have wisdom, okay? We received all of this understanding, this knowledge. Now we have to apply wisdom. Luke 12 and 56, ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that you do not discern this time? All right, how is it that our people aren't dis uh, uh, discerning with times that we're in and getting in the right spirit, okay? Now, as a matter of fact, let's go back here, and there were some comments brothers left. All right, now, before we read those comments, this is another thing that I saw that happened in Canada. Look at that hell. It's just breaking their windows, man. <laughs> the hell is coming so hard, it's breaking the windows. Bruv. <laughs> it's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. Okay, and I guarantee you these people, all right, live their life as, as complete assholes, man. OK, not to say that that uh, bad things don't happen to those who believe, but these are judgments that the Lord has what prepared for the evil, the wicked, all of the famines, everything that we see happening. OK, these things are being prepared for the wicked and evildoers. OK. Look at that. Look at that. And I believe there's a scripture. Let me see here. Hell. Let's see here. Yep. This is the book of Exodus 9 and 18. Behold, tomorrow about this time I will cause it to rain a very in a very grievous hell. Such as not have been seen in Egypt since the foundation thereof even until now. Okay. So the plagues are back, okay? The plagues are back, and the, and the hell came, okay? Exodus 9 and 23, And Moses stretched forth his rod towards heaven, and Yahweh sent thunder and hell. <laughs> Ironically, we just saw two clips with thunder and hell, all right? Call hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai. And the fire ran along the ground, all right? And the Lord rained hell upon the land of Egypt. OK, and these plagues are hitting all ultimately around the planet Earth, man. OK, everywhere you look, you're seeing plagues, man. It talks about the hell for a long time in Exodus, the ninth chapter. OK. 
This is uh, Isaiah 28 and 2. Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hail in a destroying storm, as a flood of the mighty waters overflowing. Now, when you look all around the earth, there's nothing but floods. Kentucky. Okay, the various parts of the earth, you're seeing what? Mass flooding taking place. Okay, you're seeing droughts taking place. Okay, you're seeing uh, uh, the, the plague of the sun burning the hell out of people. You're seeing crops being destroyed. Okay, and there's more floods coming all around the earth. Okay, in California, there's fire and floods. Imagine that. OK, worldwide, we're witnessing judgment, wildfires everywhere you look, judgment. As it says in the book of Sirach. Or second Edges, the fifth chapter, let's get that real quick, because this is what we're witnessing. Second Edges, the fifth chapter. <laughs> All right. In the seventh verse, and the sodomite sea shall cast out fish. All right, which just means it's gonna the, the the earth is gonna be in a state of death, and this is the Sodomitis Sea. Okay, look at the vibration being pushed. Okay, and make a noise in the night which many have not known, but they shall hear the voice thereof. And what is the voice thereof that that many are hearing? Stuff like this. Okay, Christian High School in Manhattan hosted mandatory drag show in place of church service. See that? This is a Christian high school that were forced. It was mandatory. If you didn't go, you'd probably get kicked out of the school. you get a bad grade. Okay, and then they're looking at some big nigga. Okay, walking around in drag, man. Okay? This is where the earth is going. Primarily here in Babylon the Great is where this vibration is being pushed the heaviest. Okay? Meanwhile, what are our people doing? With all of this judgment going on, what are our people doing? In their emotions, talking about voting, talking about we can't wait to 2024 so we can get uh, Biden out of the office so they can start all over again. Okay? Murdering each other, being wicked. Okay? Talking all manner of evil, getting into all of these various different philosophies. So the Lord is getting ready to put the smack down on this place, man. A Christian school. OK, a Christian school hosted a mandatory drag show. OK, these are things that in times past would have been unheard of. But here we are. OK, and this is the vibration being pushed. This is how, you know, destruction is on its way. We ain't even got to read into all that. I'm so tired of the damn alphabet agenda. However, we have to condemn it. Because it's a part of prophecy. This is that spiritual Sodom in Egypt. OK, verse eight and second address five, there shall be a confusion in many places and fire shall oft be sent out again. And the wild beasts shall change their places and menstruous woman shall bring forth monsters. OK. And those monsters are talking about like, you know, the, the, the deformed, premature babies. OK, but they're bringing forth crack babies as well who grow up to destroy the earth as well. So them niggas are monsters, too. OK. Dry lighting sparks most destructive, expensive wildfires in California. Fires everywhere. Fires in Canada. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, in Europe. Okay? These things should put you in a serious mindset. These things should help you to get over this world because it's hastening, all right, away quickly, man. Okay? Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. So... Let's go back here. Let's read some of these comments and we'll get some articles because we're just in the news. That's all we're doing is just going uh, throughout particular articles, particular videos and going into some scriptures. Nothing um, too deep. But at the end of the day, the scriptures within themselves are deep. OK, and we have to continuously warn our people, as the scriptures say, Jake, you know, they have a short attention span. OK, so you can show Jake all of, you know, the Lord is doing this and doing that. OK, and Jake will be like, yeah, damn the Lord. And then one one thing happens and Jake will forget. OK, so we have to, as, as a matter of fact, through the terror of the Lord. Let's see here. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, this was also a plague in Revelation 16. 
okay, in 21. And there fell upon men a great hell out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. And men blasphemed God because of the plague of hell, plague of hell, for the plague thereof was exceeding great. Now, what we just showed you, that was just in Canada. But these things are getting ready to increase. And they're going to be judging evildoers, man. Okay? That's why we just read the scripture before judgment. Okay? Examine thyself. It also says in that same chapter, I believe, in the day of offense, beware. Okay? Beware of, of, of your, your actions. Okay? Because the Lord is getting ready to, to, to bring vengeance, and you don't want to be a part of that. Okay? You don't want that smoke with the Lord. Okay? As the scriptures say, through the terror of the Lord. So we're not bringing these things out just for the fun of it. We're bringing these things out to let you know the times that we're in. As the scriptures say, we're watchmen. The enemy's coming. Prophecies are coming uh, to pass. Okay? 2 Corinthians 5 and 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. So you, you, these things we say should be taken unto heart, man. Okay, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Okay. Everything that's written in these scriptures is faithful and true, and these things are coming to pass. So you don't want to get caught out there in these plagues, man. Because you didn't hearken or didn't take the voice of the Lord serious. The terror of the Lord, Phobos, okay, fear, dread, terror, that which strikes terror. All right, remember, this is the power who flooded the earth. Burn Sodom and Gomorrah, the, the, put us in captivity, created Esau. You see, this is not the power you want to be playing with. OK, reverence for one's husband. That's the type of fear you need to have right now. The most high. All right. Through Yahweh Shai is our husband. You see. And we need to reverence him in the in the in the, in the sense that we fear him okay we have to fear him through our actions through our works through our mindset through rebuking demons that come into our mind not entertaining them immediately understanding i'm going off i'm going left because these things are coming to pass okay fast you see super fast all right that's why uh, uh esau all right, is making up all type of crap. You know, the earth is spinning fast. Look, that's all BS. Look, the Lord is hastening the day. Okay? The earth is spinning faster. No, time is going by fast because the Lord is getting ready to take you Edomites down. Okay? We know that the days will be shortened because of prophecy. As a matter of fact, let's get that. The earth is spinning faster. Get out of here. No, the, the time is, is speeding up. Because y'all are getting ready to be taken down. Okay, Mark 13 and 20. See what it says before that. Let's start at 19. For in those days shall be affliction, such as was not from the beginning of creation, which God created until this time, neither shall be. And that lines up with Daniel, the 12th chapter. A time like never before. So bad, we're going to need the angels. Michael, the archangel, is going to have to protect us. All right, and that's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, the angels are going to have to come through. We're going to need divine intervention. We're going to need a miracle. So you got to act like that miracle is coming. You got to believe that miracle is coming. But if you're riding in the daytime, playing all these games all over the place, unsettled, unrooted, okay, wisdom and knowledge ain't going to uh, be your stability. Okay, you're going to do uh, uh, what pleases your flesh. And the hour of temptation is coming. And we're going to all be tried. And who we are is going to uh, 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 ultimately be made manifest by prophecy coming to pass. Okay? So hard times are coming, man. We're not here to feed you a fairy tale. We're not here to feed you our emotions, our story. We're here to tell you, uh, uh, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. 
Mark 13 and 20, and except that the Lord shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom he have chosen, he have shortened the days. See? But for the elect's sake, whom he have chosen, he have shortened the days. So the days are being shortened. Okay? Uh, 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 left and right. You, I mean, when you look up, the weeks are going by, the days are going by, the months are going by. Time is flying. You look up, it's the end of the day. You, 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 if you got a job, you go to work, okay, you come home, you try to work out, you eat, you try to uh, do a video or watch a video or, you know, uh, uh, have some downtime after that. And by, it's 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Then if you're getting older, you need your rest. All right, but then there comes time where you don't even really get rest like that. Go to bed uh, 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 late, get up early, which is a life of folly. As a matter of fact, the scriptures speak against that. <laughs> the scriptures say it is vain for you. <laughs> I think there's a scripture that goes into that. What is it? Uh, Ecclesiastes. <laughs> we live in vain lifestyles. That's why we got to get the hell up out of here. Psalms 127 and 2. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows for the Lord, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. And we can't really sleep here. Okay? You, you're constantly thinking, you're constantly worried, all kinds of prophecies coming to pass. The devil is losing his mind. The enemy's coming. Jake losing their damn mind. See, that's why when De uh, David finally got rest, he, he sung that song in... First uh, Samuel 22 uh, chapters, 22nd chapter. He sung that song and in it, he even thanked the Lord for delivering from his own people. But anyway, except the Lord have shortened those days, Mark 13 and 20. All right. No flesh should be saved but for the elect's sake whom he have chosen. He have shortened the days. So for the elect's sake, these days are being shortened, man. Okay. Isaiah 1 and 9, except the Lord of hosts has left us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom and we would have been like unto Gomorrah. So the Lord is hastening the days, man. He's shortening the time. Why? Because here, Romans 11 and 5, even so, then at this present time, there is an, a remnant according to the election of grace. And the remnant are ultimately going to be in the right spirit in these times while all of these things are happening. Okay, I wanted to read some of the comments off this video real quick. All right, off of the lightning strikes near White House video. <laughs> Could you imagine the terror going through those Edomites' minds when that happened? Okay. Yep, this is the brother Kazak. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he and there is no God with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound, I heal, all right? Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand, all right? And people take this scripture where it says there is no God with me or is a, a God alone, but, but the scriptures talk about Michael. See, it's no power outside of him and everything else flows through his authority. Clearly, he had a mediator in the wilderness, an angel that he sent, right? In this very chapter, I believe he talks about the angel, OK, so get understanding. There is no escape. Nathan Welch. Jeremiah 23 and 24. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I feel heaven and earth, saith the Lord. And they thought they were going to hide under that tree. OK, it uh, uh, Sir son, John, son, John 144. It is a fearful thing. Hebrews 10 and 31 to fall into the hands of the living God. Okay, Nakam, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesi Ecclesiasticus 1 and 8. There is one wise and greatly to be feared, the Lord sitting upon his throne. And our people ain't fearing the Lord right now. Okay, you look at Sinatra TV, nothing but mocking, nothing but it's still the same shit. Jake's still doing these debates. Okay, with these unbelievers. Jake does not really understand what the Lord of hosts is getting ready to do. Neither are they promoting to you the right mindset. All right. 
to be in with all of these things happening. Okay? Let's get one more and we'll get into some articles, man. What manner? Okay? What manner of person are you to be? Okay? Seeing that these things are getting ready to be dissolved. Okay? Second Peter 3 and 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned. The earth is going to be burned. That's where the fire is coming. The fire ain't going to be underground right, where Satan and the fallen angels are waiting their judgment. No. Okay. Easy E down there, Tupac. No. The earth is where that fire is coming. Okay? The elements are going to melt with fervent heat. Okay? Because fire is coming to this place. You do not want to be a part of that. And you damn sure don't want to be a part of the plagues that come before that. I want to be covered, man. That's why the scriptures say, dwell in a secret place of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, which is this wisdom. But you got to come right. Okay, the Lord is not playing. Judgment is coming. That's what we're here to tell you. That's what the prophets came to tell the people. Okay, all of this effeminate game plan got to go. All right, or you will be dealt with accordingly by who? Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? And holy is what? Separate from this world, man. Talking about the kingdom, talking about the destruction, all right, condemning this world. That's holy conversation because it's separate, okay, according to what the, the heavenly father through his only begotten son has ordained to be good and clean. We speak against, all right, the ways of this world, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. We're not looking forward to voting. We're not looking for this world in the, in, in the current power structure to stay intact so that we can get a tax return to hell with that. We are ready for this place to be destroyed. OK, because look at where the earth is. Rainwater everywhere on earth is unsafe to drink due to forever chemicals. Now, if you don't know what forever chemicals are. OK, they were created by none other than Esau, Edom and the rest of the heathen. OK. Just look it up real quick. Rainwater was pretty much your way to have water just in case. Let's say the water was cut off. OK, let's say a storm came. That would be free water. Well, now you can't even drink the water. <laughs> this devil got to go. Forever chemicals are persistent organic pollutants sometimes known as forever chemicals are organic compounds and see esau can fool you with that term organic because you got to think what's organic to the devil organic pollutants okay that are resistant to environmental degradation through uh, chemical biological and so forth man okay and you have particular uh, uh, states, okay, call uh, uh, telling them to stop producing these forever chemicals because it's ruining in the environment. Let's see if we can get a video just just to show you the wickedness of this devil. Here's one here. This is a pretty good channel. Always putting out good information, um, good news, you know, and so forth. Let's check this out. They say diamonds are forever. Some friendships are forever too. Certain bonds are forever. Certain chemical bonds are forever too. But unlike diamonds and most friendships and emotional bonds, these chemicals are dangerous, aka cancerous. They can also reduce our responses to vaccines, deter our growth, increase the level of cholesterol in our bodies and put us at the risk of heart diseases. In short, these chemicals shorten our lifespan. Ironically enough, they're called forever chemicals, PFAS. What is that short for? This. Where are they found? 
Well, this is where the story gets very interesting. These chemicals are literally found everywhere and they have been placed there by us humans. Hello and welcome to Gravitas Plus. I'm Palki Sharma Upadhyay. Did you generously apply sunscreen this morning? The egg you made this morning, was it on a non-stick pan? The food you ordered a couple of days ago, was it delivered in a takeaway container? Not humans. Esau, the rulers, make sure these things are everywhere. Okay, and then the people in their ignorance, okay, uh, 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 help, all right, forward the BS as well, all right? But these things are all here by design because of the rulers, the heathen, in particular, the biblical Edomites, okay? And now these things are all in all of the waters, okay? Forever chemicals detected in water systems in nearly 2,800 U.S. cities. No, it's everywhere. Okay. Well, you have exposed yourself to forever chemicals. These are a group of 4,700 odd types of compounds, all created by joining carbon and fluorine. Now, this bond is the strongest in organic chemistry. What I mean is, chemicals made by joining carbon and fluorine cannot be broken down by heat, sunlight or water. Most other chemicals can, but forever chemicals cannot. These chemicals neither degrade in the environment nor in our bodies. They remain for years, for decades, hence the name. Forever chemicals have been used in products since the 1940s. They make items heat, moisture and water resistant. The two most commonly used forever chemicals are PFOS and PFOA. They're found in our water, in our kitchens, in our food chains, even in our carpets. You know the carpets that don't catch wine stain? They are made of forever chemicals. Microwave popcorn bags, forever chemicals again. Non-stick pots, food packaging, pizza boxes, water-resisted makeup, shampoo, dental floss, paints, varnishes, rainproof coats, all of them have forever chemicals. Basically, anything that promises to be water-resistant or moisture-resistant is bound to have PFAS. Even our primers have them. Our furniture too. Now let's look at what these chemicals can do to our bodies. Studies have shown that exposure to forever chemicals can interfere with our hormones. They can increase the risk of cancer, affect our immune system, our reproductive system. Forever chemicals can also increase birth defects, deter a person's chance of getting pregnant, affect an infant's growth, learning and behavior. Like that scripture say, menstruous woman shall bring forth monsters. Well, the forever chemicals help bring out those deformed babies. You see how bad of a condition we're in? Let me tell you a story from West Virginia. There was a Teflon making plant in a place called Parkersburg. Now Teflon is the chemical that is used to make our pans nonstick. And you know who, who, who's at the forefront of this? The DuPont family. I actually did a um, video on that. See if I can pull it up for you brothers and sisters. Okay. Goodness gracious. Yeah, the DuPonts. I did a video on this before. All right. Sometimes you forget the information. So much happening, but. Yep. Shameful spewing on E. I might have to reload this. Let's see here. That was November of 2021. Yeah, I can probably reload it. See if it loads. Shut them up. Well, that's the video if you want to look it up. The most evil business in the world. And that's not that's not even the most evil. That's just that's that's child's play to the wickedness these devils got going on. Anyway. So this plant ended up contaminating the water in Parkersburg. People were exposed to high levels of forever chemicals. Farmers lost hundreds of cattle. Researchers studied 70,000 adults living in the area. They found a possible link between high PFOA blood levels and high cholesterol. Also links between forever chemicals and ulcerative colitis, thyroid functioning, testicular cancer, kidney cancer, preeclampsia, and elevated blood pressure during pregnancy. A report released by the Center for Disease Control showed a link between PFAS and birth defects, even liver damage. 
Does this mean even a little exposure to forever chemicals can lead to problems of this kind? Honestly, scientists do not know. I'll give you an example. God damn. <laughs> this devil got to go, man. I mean, we can keep listening, but you get you get the drift. You know, rainwater everywhere on Earth, unsafe to drink <laughs> due to forever chemicals. Studies, finds. Okay? Rainwater almost everywhere on Earth has unsafe levels of forever chemicals, according to new research. Okay, so... This is why cancer is so high. And, the, and the, the, these same devils who do all of this polluting, all right, will will be the, the head of cancer research and have these organizations where they have cancer day and people wear all pink. And when you go back to the uh, the ones who started, I have the uh, documents in a binder that I have. Ultimately, these people were involved in experimenting on Jake heavily. OK, but now today, these are the cancer research and, you know, uh, cancer prevention centers. OK, everything we have on as clothing, everything we drink, everything we eat, the air we breathe is all full of chemicals. So that's why the Lord. All right. Has to shorten the days. That's why he's visiting the earth. <laughs> Let's get that real quick. In the book of. Uh, Second Ezra, the sixth chapter. I'll start at second. I'll get second Edges nine. Then I'll jump to that second Edges nine and one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently. So this is why we constantly do these videos. OK, because we're measuring the time diligently. A wise man's mind understand both time and judgment. OK, and when thou seest a part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand. All right. Wherein. Uh, the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, visit. Let's look up the word visit. Okay, I had it here. <laughs> this is Psalms 89 and 31. If they break my commandments and statues and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquities with stripes. And that's what's getting ready to happen to our people. All right, but we want to look up the word visit. All right, pakad. Okay, to attend, to muster, to number, to reckon, to visit, to punish, to appoint, to look after, to care for, to pay attention to. The Lord is paying attention to what's happening on the planet Earth. And therefore, okay, based upon the report, it's judgment time. And how does the Lord look? The eyes of the Lord are the chariots. OK, and they're calculating and, 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 and ultimately that said measure is getting ready to be fulfilled. The elect are getting ready to be sealed and the destruction is getting ready to come. OK, to punish, to pass and review, to, to, to number. OK, the Lord is watching over the things that are happening on the planet Earth, man. You see, people think because uh, uh, an evil work hasn't been visited that they can just do and say as they will. All right. But we're getting ready to see. All right. How the Lord is going to judge this place on. A, and we're seeing the judgment. We see it already. OK, but we're getting ready to see it on a level to where people are going to know a higher power is involved. Even atheists, they're going to know a God is doing this. What's going on? They're not going to be trying to change the, the, the tune, run to the prophet. But it's going to be too late because there's going to come a point where the Lord is going to hide the prophets, man. So when you see, therefore, earthquakes and uproars on the people in the world, what? Thou shalt well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And the things that are written, okay, or what? Being manifest, for like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And Esau is the end of the world. That's that end that's being manifest, the end of Esau's rulership. That's why everybody is losing their damn minds. OK, you can clearly see that the minds of the people are changing. The behavior of the people are changing. OK, people are uh, there's nothing but uh, uh, friction in the earth. OK, let's jump here. Second Edris chapter six. And. Let's see here. Hmm. 
Let's see here. I'm looking for a particular point. Yep. That's that. So I'll, just, I'll start here. Verse 18, it says, And it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. There's that visit again. And to begin to make inquisition, all right, meaning he's looking into everybody's act. Everybody's being investigated. Ultimately, it starts with Esau, okay? But this, in, this inquisition is also for the wicked of our people, the heathen, okay? And I will begin to make inquisition, what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness and when the affliction, okay, of Zion shall be fulfilled. I was just watching the uh, elder brother Karatazah from Vegas video, all right, and it said the, the humiliation of Zion, okay, in another version of the Apocrypha, okay. So we're almost done with our humiliation, Okay, and the prophets are getting ready to be uh, uh, put on a world stage. Our own people are going to be coming up against us as if we're the worst thing going. But our affliction is just about up. And it's synonymous with Esau being revealed and taken down. Okay. And when the affliction or humiliation of Zion shall be fulfilled, what well, the Lord put all of these curses on us. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished. All right. Esau's world, not the earth. Esau's rulership is what's going to vanish away. All right. And it's vanishing away, starting with this word going out. And then will I show these tokens and the books shall be opened together. All right. Uh, before the firmament and they shall all see together. The, the Holy Spirit has been sent down. All right. And via the Internet, this everybody's witnessing the prophets. And synonymously, as the prophets speak, things are happening on the planet Earth. That's one thing nobody can get around. No matter what gripe you got, no matter how much shit you're talking, nobody can get around the fact that these prophecies are hidden. Everybody's seeing it together, man. Okay? And the children of one old shall speak with their voices. And that's happening now. They call them COVID babies. Okay? To where the they're, they're, babies are being born and they're <laughs> doing things that... Two-year-olds would do. The woman with child shall bring forth untimely children, three or four months old, and they shall live and be raised up. We're seeing these things happening at a rampant rate. Okay? These things happen every day. That's the norm now. A child can be born, all right, at three months old, okay, three months in the, in the, in the womb and come out and be uh, nourished up and live. Okay? We're showing you we're in an off society. OK, we're in a very, very messed up situation and those chemicals and everything else Esau put out there has a lot to do with this stuff. OK, you have a uh, 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 young girls having their periods at eight, nine years old. OK, women <laughs> going through their menopause too early. OK, men all effeminate. And weak, the women all strong. OK, this is off. The earth is defiled, man, under the inhabitants thereof. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. All right. We, we, we did a video a couple of weeks ago how Starbucks and many businesses are shutting down many of their branches because of lack of workers. All right. And because the, 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 the elite are crashing the economy. So the sown places, places where you see people walking around, marketplaces where, where people go shop. They're going to be empty. Okay? The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. All right? These places that distribute uh, uh, food to neighborhoods, okay, they're going to be empty. And it's trickling down to where it's, it's, it's getting ready to happen on a larger scale. Okay? They're going to be empty. Okay? And I was just looking at this article as well, too, or looked up this article. I just typed it in. Mass layoffs of 2022. OK, what does the scripture say about uh, uh, work for Egypt? Mass layoffs in 2022. OK, it's going down. OK, you have one extreme where people don't want to work and particular companies are, are being forced to shut down. They don't have no nobody want to work. And then you have where people are being laid off. OK, mass layoffs. 
see what this one says. What's next for employees? Okay. <laughs> Mass layoffs are difficult but common occurrence in the business world that leaves many employees wondering how they'll be affected and what they should do to find themselves when what they should do when they find themselves holding a pink slip. While the current employment market of the US is strong, which is dwindling, with low unemployment rates and high job growth, this could all change the near future as many businesses struggle to adapt with the changing economy. Then you have the shutdowns. All right. Then you have these 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 new, uh, uh, you know, the, the jungle bumps. People are scared to go into these offices, so they're opting out of going in offices. Then you have the mass layoff, man. OK, mass layoffs. In 2022. Get ready to see that, especially when they come with these uh, 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 monkey mandates. OK, that's coming. Best believe it. All right. And who who are they putting? OK, who are they putting uh, that? Uh, that blame on. Let's look it up real quick. look it up real quick but we were also looking at this okay black native american and our latino families face serious problems from inflation because they're the poor okay so this is the time to cling to the lord okay blacks native americans and latino families face serious problems from inflation okay who's next esau the these edomites are struggling Broke, like the elders say, broke than a hoe. And we all broke, but you, you, these Edomites are struggling. But who's who's going to be hit the worst when all of this stuff starts to really, really hit? Is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay? Who already don't have nothing. So these sh next shutdowns and everything else, and this is why a lot of them, okay, they, they're not going to be rooted they're going to succumb to what Esau's bringing on the earth. Okay? But here we go. <laughs> Jungle bumps like HIV disproportionately affects black and Hispanic people. So the blame is being put on you again. Okay? They've, 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 they've constantly made you the focal point of all of these things that are happening when it comes to uh, 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 <laughs> racism is a pandemic. <laughs> but there you go. Detailed analysis of the, you know, the, the uh, gorilla pox cases, uh, records published by the U.S. Center of Disease Control, yada, yada, yada. See, first it was... Uh, the alphabets now see they they continue to move the goalposts they continue to you know put you know different information out there they continue to you know they got people's minds all over the place just like the 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 uh the crown royale that started with a uh a, <laughs> i was about to say a gook it <laughs> started with somebody eating a bat Right. Then it was this. Then it was that. Then it now is this. This it's, it's all over the place, man. But one narrative that continues to show itself forth is what? All right, uh, Jake. Okay, being the ones uh, uh, blamed for spreading this stuff. Because what? They 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 poor health conditions. So it's time to turn to the Lord, man. Okay. The economy is, is, is falling, okay, and much more things are happening on the planet Earth, man. So the sown places are going to be found empty. Now, let's get that precept in Isaiah 19. This is why we tell you, Israelites, you're getting ready to have to step out on a great level of faith. It's not a game. Isaiah 19. Let's start at 14. The Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof and have caused Egypt to err in every work 
thereof, even as a drunken man staggereth in his own vomit. Okay? Stuff like this. Couple charged with using their adopted children to make child P-O-R-N. Okay? Governor Galvin Newsom signs bill reducing penalties for sodomy with minors. See, this is the type of stuff that's happening now. Okay, if you want to destroy a nation without war, make adultery or nudity common among the young generation. And has that not happened here in Babylon the Great? Okay, especially amongst you Israelites. All right, the, the, the things that were once taboo amongst you are now the part, a part of everyday life and culture. So th this nation is destroyed. The Lord has mingled what? A perverse spirit in the midst of this place. Which has caused you, which which is causing Egypt to err in every work thereof. Okay, and 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 all of these children that are adopted, for the most part, I'll say about ninety percent. If you of the ten percent, then ultimately you're blessed. But I'll say about shit. The majority of the children adopted go through some some form of uh, uh, abuse. Not all. A few make it out clean, okay? And if you wanted them, you're blessed. But the, 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 that, that whole industry for adopting children is a pedophile ring. Okay, you can read that for yourself. I ain't going to read that. <laughs> okay? And it's a lot of things that's linking right now. That's all I'm going to say. All right, CERN, okay, the, uh, the, 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 the jabby jab. Okay, the behavior of the people, it's all starting to pretty much seem, seem like it's all connected. Okay, but verse 22 in Second Edges, the sixth chapter, and the suddenly shall the song, uh, 22nd chapter, we read that already. Oh, we were reading this in Isaiah 19 and 15. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women. There's a very feminine vibration here on the men. And it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, which he shaketh over it. And what is the shaking of the hand of the Lord? Okay. Well, that's the prophets. Shaking of the hand is an ancient custom, meaning you're telling somebody off. When you're shaking your hand at somebody, you're telling them off. Okay, like Apostle Tahar <laughs> when we first came in. You know, he getting that spirit. And he be shaking his hand at the camera. He was like, oh, shit. All right, prophecies about Babylon. Isaiah 13 and 1. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amwaz, did see. Okay, lift ye up a banner upon a high mountain. Exalt up the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. Okay. The gates of the nobles are ultimately the elite. This word has reached unto them. Therefore, you have the UN. Okay, we already brought it out, but you can never get enough of this. Okay, declaring war on dangerous sea theories. Because this word is ultimately terrorizing the place. Okay, the word is terrorizing this place. Okay. Let's go back to Isaiah 19. <laughs> what did it say? Salakia. Bit all over the place, but uh, hey, it happens, right? Isaiah 19 and 15. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. And that day Egypt shall be like unto women, and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, which he shaketh over. And this is meaning what? The prophecies are coming to pass. That's why it ends when you go down, it talks about an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt, which is the elect. Okay, repenting, crying unto the Lord to bring judgment. Okay. He 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 he's uh hearing our cry, man. So the people on the planet Earth are being plagued because of the things that are being done on the planet Earth. Just like in Egypt, Exodus 9 and 14, for at this time I will send my plagues upon thine mind, 
So that Esau's mind is plagued just like Pharaoh's mind was plagued. And upon thy servants and upon thy people, that thou mayest know that there is none like me in all the earth. So people are bugging out. Okay, people are bugging out, man. All right, everywhere you look, the stories are getting crazier. A woman kills her four children. Man stabs his wife 18 times. All right, two friends get into an argument over a popsicle and one cuts the other's head off. A man walking down the street with a, with a, with a pet head, just a, severed his wife's head and walking down the street with it. Men uh, uh, losing their minds and, and putting their women to death. All right. Well, men who've been going through all kind of hell with the, the, the woman over the child, just give it up. Go on Facebook and say, I'm going to kill this. And just, you know, all manner of evil is going on, man. OK, so verse 23, it says in second edge of six and the trumpet shall give a sound. And that's us blowing the trumpet, which every man heareth. Then they shall be suddenly afraid. And that goes into Revelation, the 11th chapter, when they see us standing on our feet, preaching, blowing the trumpet. They're scared about that. OK, they're hearing that they're hearing and seeing prophecy come to pass. And at that time, shall friends fight one against another like enemies. Ain't we witnessing that? And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of fountains shall stand still. And in three hours, they shall not run, meaning the Lord is going to have it to where this word is cut off. See, whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee. Shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world. Whose world? Esau's world. It says that earlier in the chapter. So friends are fighting against one another. The love of many is waxing cold. And I believe that it has something to do, okay, with 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 C C E R N and the uh uh Biden sauce. Okay? Along with everything else happening. People are being driven mad. People are losing their damn minds. This is a time for judgment. Welcome to today's show. You got to see this article to believe it. I've seen many articles written over the years. But at this point, seeing an article like this in the USA Today is just mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing that they're even writing an article about this and having to fact-check it. And again, anytime you see fact-checking done, always believe the opposite because every single thing that they tell us is a lie. Well, guess what they were fact-checking? They were fact-checking CERN in USA Today. USA Today is probably the most popular newspaper publication in America. It's one of them, at least. I remember in the day, you know, when you go stay at a hotel, every hotel you'd stay at, you woke up, there'd be a USA Today propaganda piece sitting on your, right outside the door, and now this is the type of stuff USA Today is covering. Fact check. Scientists at CERN are not opening a portal to hell. I kid you not. This is an article that they're writing and they're fact checking it. Well, for starters, uh, can you actually fact check that? I mean, you're fact checking it. Are you there? Are you seeing what they're doing with tearing through the veil with what they're doing with their Super Hadron Collider? Or, or should we just, before I get into the article, should we maybe rehash some of the reasons why many people believe that is what they're doing? Now, for starters, the whole purpose of what CERN's doing makes zero sense. It's something that doesn't need to be done, and the consequences of what they tell us could happen outweigh the benefits. You know, like tearing a hole, a black hole, into the universe. Yeah, I don't think we need to do that, but they tell us that we... You know, we should give it a shot. We should try it because it sounds like a good idea. All right. And then, of course, we have all the predictive programming with all of these popular shows like Stranger Things that show us ripping through the veil. They even have the Hadron Collider in Stranger Things, which I've covered in the past. But, you know, we're all suspicious of CERN for many reasons. I mean, we don't even need to get into the, the Shiva, the Kali demonic thing outside the headquarters there which is there for a reason. Of course, that's about the destroyer of universes that's just sitting outside of their building. That has no significance at all because we're not supposed to look at stuff like that and think there's any significance. We're supposed to just look at it and go, oh, oh, right? Like a bunch of zombies would do. But let's look at some of the other things before I get into this article real quick, which should and could make people suspicious of what's going on at CERN. Should we start with the time that CERN held that mock satanic ritual 
Huh? Remember that? see it so what whatever CERN did since that point where they did whatever they did you know <laughs> a lot the, it got super hot and people started losing their minds so all I'm saying is put two and two together okay along with the uh, the jungle bumps and you know the juice and everything else something is he did something because people got significantly more uh, dark and stupid. Concern are not opening a portal to hell. Wait, what? Huh? But they keep bringing attention to these things. So let's look at the article here. In April, scientists at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, or CERN, restarted their pa particle accelerator, the world's largest and most powerful accelerator after... And they're probably always doing it, but they doing something. I'm going to just leave that at that. Let's get a few more things real quick. Because I have a lot of MOTB news that I want to get into. Uh, but I'll do that in a separate lesson. I just wanted to bring these points out as well. I had other articles, but uh, what's this? Oh, this is that. Oh, so three died at the White House with the light, <laughs> with the uh, lightning. That's the couple, high school sweethearts. Ho horrible way to end it all. Okay, also, as uh, Yahweh Shai told us, we would see war and rumors of wars. Okay, so... China halts military and climate ties with U.S. Okay, US, the U.S., the West is being ultimately abandoned and surrounded. And there's an evil eye towards her. Okay. And sanctions. Uh, China halts military and climate ties with U.S. And sanctions Pelosi in fury over Taiwan visit. And they told her not to come. And she went anyway. Because the Lord is working on the minds of these leaders to, for war. Okay. The war is coming. OK, it's the point in that. OK, Russia suspends U.S. inspections of nuclear military sites. OK, because there's particular uh, deals and, you know, ties in, 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 in a set to where, you know, one can go and view the military arsenal of the other and this and that. Well, Russia suspended the U.S. from inspecting their nuclear military sites because what U.S. what the U.S. does is which I'm pretty sure they never show everything they have, but the U.S. tries to put sanctions on particular countries and say they can't have this many nuclear missiles, they can't do this, they can't do that. Meanwhile, they they arm, okay, uh, uh, their allies and, and do all kind of wickedness. Western sanctions are preventing Russian inspectors from doing their job, all right, under the START Treaty, Moscow says, okay, Moscow has informed Washington of a temp temporary withdrawal from the inspection regime under the START Nuclear Dis Disarmament Treaty. The Russian Foreign Ministry said on Monday, citing treaty provisions for exceptional circumstances, Russia is saying the Western sanctions have prevented its inspectors from performing their duties. <laughs> All right. Thus giving U.S. inspectors an unfair advantage. And that's what Esau wants. He always wants an advantage. Once the principle of uh, parity and equality is restored, the inspector inspections will resume. So there you go. And you can read up on that. There's no no need to keep reading. But you can see there's nothing but tension and friction in the planet Earth. OK. MP of EU nation threatens Russia and China. OK, we're seeing all kinds and all manner of, uh, you know, friction in the earth. And Yahweh Shai himself told us we would hear wars and rumors of wars. What's going on in Israel right now? Wars. OK, they're they're bombing the Gaza Strip again. Well, that happens on and off. OK, but, you know, there's nothing to look at. There's nothing to worry about there. Right. <laughs> all right. Pentagon doles out another one billion in Ukraine aid. OK. And, you know, just, you know, war and rumors of war, you know, air strike strikes and rocket attacks push Israel and militants into second day of fighting. OK. 
okay? Nothing but hell all going throughout the, the whole planet Earth, man. Lake Mead is drying up. And lakes are very important. So the surrounding areas, all right, are going to, you know, <laughs> pretty much ain't going to have clean water after a while. Okay? The, the, the lake, you know, the, dictates the flow of rivers. Rivers is where you get your clean water. Lakes are very important to an ecosystem. But there's one drying up all of a sudden after the whole CERN thing. Okay? And that's going to be a big blow to that region. Okay? The Hoover Dam, so-called explosion, all kind of things are happening on the planet Earth, man. Okay? Let's read a few headlines from Blacklisted News and then we'll close this out. I just wanted to get a few little articles out. Um, the FBI's forgotten history. Yeah, the FBI is absolutely wicked. CBS News censors its own documentary exposing how 70% of U.S. funding of Ukraine is wasted. Okay. More, you know, Ukraine propaganda and all of that. Russian propaganda just means disobedience. Inflation Reduction Act would make IRS among the largest agencies in government. <laughs> Uh-oh. Los Angeles voters to decide if hotels will be forced to house the homeless despite safety concerns <laughs> through. Okay. Gay married couple charged with making child P-O-R-N with adopted kids. <laughs> yeah, people are through, man. Biden now wants to refund the police. President will ask for $37 billion to fight and prevent crime. We already read about the UN. Former Nickelodeon child star Jeanette McCurdy alleges the network offered her 300000 to silence her claims of abuse. Everywhere you look in America... And around the world, pedophilia is just everywhere. But it's always swept under the rug. Well, the Lord sees it all. And you will pay. Okay? Let's see. Revolution has begun. 75,000 Brits to stop paying power bills amid inflation storm. Uproars of the people. All right, man. So hopefully y'all are edified. We'll be back with more news and prophecy in the coming uh, days, Lord willing. Hopefully, I will edify it. Hey, look, it, it now is high time to awake out of sleep. All right, the Heavenly Father is not playing. Okay, um, let me see here. Let me get one more scripture. One more scripture. This is a good one. Humble thyself greatly, for the vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worms. <laughs> oh, man, that was a good one, but that's not what I want. It was an offense. There we go. Sirach 18 and 27. A wise man will fear in everything, and in a day of sinning, he will be aware of offense, but a fool will not observe time. You got a lot of fool people with foolish mindsets promoting foolery in Israel, man. Now is high time to awake out of sleep and repent, man. The Lord is not playing. Shalom.